it will soon cost more to put food on the table. The Canadian Food Institute is predicting consumers will pay more for certain staples in the coming year. Various foods will see prices hike at a greater pace than the overall rate of inflation. But for many, increased costs are just a part of doing business. It's business as usual at the Copper Pig, prepping for the lunch crowd. The restaurant's specialty, slow-roasted pulled pork, a meat that has seen a price increase of 25% in the past year. Costs are always going up. It just seems that that is just the way the trend, trend is. If you find something that is once inexpensive, it becomes popular. Demand goes up, supply goes up, and that's just the way it works. I guess it just comes down to if there's an increase in any cost, if it's, if it's rent or if it's wage or if it's part of the supply chain, you either have to absorb some of it or pass it on to your guests. The prices of meat, fish, seafood and vegetables are expected to rise by as much as 5% in the coming year, more than double the rate of inflation. And there are a number of factors to consider. Extreme weather events like droughts in California and Brazil will force up prices. But so does a weaker Canadian dollar. Much of the fruits and the vegetables are, are imported, and particularly from California, which uh, had drought all last season and then recently, you know, drenching rain. So it doesn't, doesn't do any good for the food crops. So, so we have a declining dollar which buys less and food, pri food which is becoming you know, shorter in supply and getting more expensive. Getting food on the table in Prince George has the added cost of transportation, especially with persistently high diesel costs. In Prince George, per person, the recommended minimum daily food amount, Statistics Canada, expects will cost about $15 a day per person. Right? which is about $465 a month. Now, in Victoria, it's about the same, May maybe because we both have the same problem, uh, transportation costs. In the meantime, Tyler Burby says the majority of his customers realize costs are on the rise. There has to be some line, and that usually falls on the guests, on the customers, the people who are paying, the ones who are voting. We have found with our farm to fork feature that most of the time those ribs cost about 20% more than our regular ribs and we're still selling out on a daily basis. However, these increases are not as significant as 2010-2011 when factors like mad cow disease were an issue. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.